Back on March 13th, when the Detroit Red Wings signed Tyra Hiroshi as a free agent from the NCAA from Michigan State, I was pretty pumped about it just, you know, strictly looking at those numbers, but I know when you put up numbers at the collegiate level, it doesn't really mean you're going to translate well to the NHL and, you know, be an impact player, but after watching him in the four games he has played with the Detroit Red Wings so far this season, I'm just so excited about it that I wanted to make a video and talk about Tyra Hiroshi because I definitely think he can be a pretty significant piece for the Detroit Red Wings' future. He's an amazing playmaker and he's already showing that ability to set up his teammates at the NHL level in just four games. Now I know it is a very small sample size with just four games and I don't want to overreact but it seems like as soon as he came into the NHL he just transitioned perfectly and like there was no dry period where he was still trying to adapt to the game. He had an assist in his first game and an assist in every game that he's played so far. It seems like he's been developing some really nice chemistry with Andreas Athanasiou over the past two games and I definitely think they can be a pretty lethal duo for Detroit in the future and he's 22 years old so it's not like he's ridiculously young and that's what I love about signing these college players they've already been playing at a high level for years and they're playing against men they're not you know playing in the Canadian Hockey League where you're playing against teenagers you're playing against grown men in the NCAA and Tara Hiroshi has been arguably the best player in collegiate hockey this year and he's transitioning very nicely to the NHL like I said earlier Tara Hiroshi is a 22 year old he's playing wing in the NHL he played wing for the most of the time in college as well so he's a natural winger in the 2017-18 year with the Michigan State Spartans in the NCAA 36 games played 12 goals and 30 assists for 42 points so obviously you can tell that he is a playmaker he's very good at setting up others 2018-19 stats so this year in the NCAA 36 games played 15 goals and 35 assists for 50 points and he is a finalist for the Hobie Baker award I'm definitely hoping he wins it because he did really have an exceptional year with Michigan State yes just because you put up the most points it doesn't mean you're going to win it but he definitely arguably has been the best player in college hockey this year and with Detroit this year like I said four games played four assists for four points I believe he started off playing with Franz Nielsen and Luke Lundenning back about a week and a half ago when he made his debut against the New York Rangers but over the past two games he has been playing with Andreas Athanasiu and that is something I really like to see he's been getting some power play time as well and Athanasiu has showed the ability to, this year to be a really good goal scorer he's at 29 goals he's shown the ability to finish it's looking like he's going to have the first 30 goal season of his career and playing him with a playmaker like Tara Hiroshi I definitely think they can feed off of each other and I'm very very intrigued to see how Tara Hiroshi finishes out the season and and if he is going to you know be on the opening night roster next year obviously just because you put up numbers in this small sample size of games doesn't mean you're guaranteed a spot next year as Detroit has guys like Philip Zadina trying to crack the roster Jonathan Berggren's probably gonna you know try to make it out of training camp and stuff like that but we do have some veterans coming off the books in terms of their contracts and definitely some roster spots are going to be opening up and I'm certainly hoping if Tara Hiroshi keeps up this play he's got to be on the team for the next couple of seasons because I definitely think he's playmaking ability is going to be very very good especially playing with some goal scorers and players like Andreas Athens see like an Anthony Mantha on the power play so I'm just very very intrigued to see how this works out and how Tara Hiroshi really plays the rest of the year in the NHL with the Detroit Red Wings and over the years there hasn't really been players to you know come from college as an undrafted free agent and be a really really solid NHL player like I'm talking like an impact player a guy who can be you know a second or third option on a team you look at a guy like Will Butcher in previous years with the New Jersey Devils he's been one that comes to mind an undrafted free agent that comes in and you know plays well right away but I believe he was drafted but he just decided to play out his four years in college instead of signing an entry-level contract but Tara Hiroshi never drafted and it's definitely looking like he could have been a diamond in the rough find for the Detroit Red Wings and I'm very happy about it and I'm very curious to hear what you guys think especially if you are a Detroit Red Wings fan like me and you watched his four games in the NHL so far what potential do you think he has to play at an NHL level and what do you think he's going to finish this year in terms of point totals and if he'll make the opening night roster next year just all your predictions about Tara Hiroshi and just your overall thoughts on him make sure to let me know down in the comment section below and any other undrafted college free agents that have been impressing you so far this season make sure you guys let me know that as well down in the comment section so that is going to wrap up the video I really hope you guys did enjoy and like I said earlier in the video make sure to let me know down in the comment section your thoughts on Tara Hiroshi and if you guys have any video suggestions I'm always open to hearing new ideas so with that being said I hope you guys all enjoyed the video and if you did please make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content and I will see you guys all in the next video